how to plan the strategies for the next year. We can't plan anew until we don't know what to plan, right? On what things we have to work. To know what things we have to plan, first we have to analyze our this year. We're going to work on two things analyzing this year and planning the next year to analyze this year we have to make a list of things you failed at or you didn't even start things or people those are irritating you frustrating you directly attacking your mental health analyzing your emotion mind behavior and habits you really need to change check out the different areas of your life those are going good or those need a little of repair for example your health relationship family career and finance now i'm considering you already analyzed this year made a list of challenges actually these are the challenges against you that you need to complete and now we are going to plan out your next new year for the first case things where you get failed decide you want to keep trying that thing or you want to move if you want to keep that thing then analyze the reasons why you get failed this time why you learn from those factors and what are the new strategies that you gonna implement the second case when you get frustrated or irritated so frequently from something or someone rather than blaming others analyze deeply why this is happening to you Maybe you are joining something else to somewhere else or maybe you're not able to control your brain. Maybe you're overthinking or unwanted thinking or unnecessary reacting. So you have to work on your mental health first. The third case is habits. You know very well what are the areas in your routine and productivity that really need a new habit and delete some bad habits. In this new year, make a habit first to work on every habit. First start from one and when you are going well in that first habit and then start second. The fourth case is your different areas of your life. The areas those are going well maintain its quality in the next year. And the areas which are worse start finding out why they are worse. Is it really your fault or someone else's fault? Or what are the other factors affecting that particular area? The fifth case is what are the new things running in the back of your mind that you promise yourself you want to start next year and what are the things you need for those tasks now you have a challenges and a plan and the last thing is how well you implement victor frankl said when we are no longer able to change a situation we are challenged to change ourselves it really doesn't matter what you are expecting from life but rather what life is expecting from you thank you so much